Now it's a battle over a rite of passage. One local high school fought very hard with LA County to get their graduates a ceremony they deserve. Yeah, as KCAL 9's Rachel Kim reports tonight, the school drew up elaborate plans for the celebration. This is Monrovia High School's football stadium. It's where the 360 seniors in the class of 2020 would have held their graduation on June 3rd. But because of coronavirus safety precautions this year, the principal came up with a drive through graduation plan instead. They were looking forward to it, but last Friday, they learned that LA County health officials decided to prohibit in-person graduation ceremonies like this to limit the spread of COVID-19. So when that notification came through, my heart just sank. Principal Kirk Mark McGinnis and the president of Monrovia's Board of Education didn't give up and decided to reach out to L.A. County Supervisor Katherine Barger. And told her of our dilemma. She asked me if we had had a plan. It was it a plan in writing. And the answer was yes, we had the protocols all written down to follow the guidelines. Today, school officials were surprised to hear Supervisor Barger announce that after hearing their concerns, county officials have decided to allow graduation celebrations through car parades across LA County. From last Friday to this Friday was, uh, you know, seven days of, of a lot of work and a little bit of nail biting. So I was super excited today when I got that message. So here's how Monrovia's graduation will work. The graduates and their families will line up in their car. When it's their turn, the senior gets out and walks toward the stage set up in the middle of campus. We'll, we'll be capturing the graduate walking across, receiving their diploma, and then our video production crew when they live stream it, they're going to display the students information below it. The family will be following along in the car and taking pictures from inside. Then they'll pick up their graduate once they get their diploma and walk off stage. It's definitely not traditional, but it really makes you feel like cared about, which is really nice. And maybe if I see my friends like in cars far away, that, that'll be really pretty cool too. <laughs> I know that through all this emotion that's gone on this year, that it's going to be a very emotional and impactful day. We get two cars because we have twins, so I'm sure we'll pack them full and drive through. Supervisor Katherine Barger says school districts can have their own car parades by submitting a plan that allows for safe distancing. The requirements, all participants have to be in an enclosed vehicle, meaning no convertibles. And if the windows are open, everyone inside must wear a mask. Reporting from Monrovia, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.